Hi friends, my name's Lucy. I'm so excited to be here with you during Passion Week. What's Passion Week? The word passion in Latin means to endure suffering. So, Christians often call the week that ends with Jesus' death on the cross, Passion Week. A lot of things happen during this week. You're gonna get to learn about many of them while you're in your classrooms. But there is so much more that we won't have time for. So we have a special series of podcasts just for you to help better understand all that happened during that very important week. And without further ado, here's your first Passion Week podcast with Pastor Steve and Mr. Wallace. Thank you, Lucy. We've got a lot of great things that we're going to talk about this week. Pastor Steve's with me today, and we're going to talk about a very special, very last week of Jesus. Mr. Wallace, how are you? Very good. How are you, Pastor Steve? I'm good, thank you. You know, we have so much going on for the kids this week. Outside, we're going to have uh, petting zoos, puppet shows, worship, crafts, bounce houses, activities, all kinds of fun stuff for the kids. Did you know that, Mr. Wallace? I did. I have one question, though. Yes, sir. Will there be sheep? There might be. I hear that you're an excellent shepherd. Well, excellent is a little bit of an understatement, but yeah. Well, Mr. Wallace, seeing how we're talking about shepherds and sheep, I, I, let's talk about the great shepherd. Oh. Let's talk about Jesus. He's one of my favorite. Yeah. Actually, he is my favorite. This last week of Jesus, this Passion Week, there were so many things that took place in the life of Jesus. And Jesus was in the upper room with his disciples. Do you remember that, Mr. Wallace? Yes, it's a very, very important part of Scripture. And there were so many things that took place in the upper room, like Jesus washing his disciples' feet. The true servant. When Jesus foretold his uh, denial and betrayal by Judas and Peter, And even Jesus promised his disciples that the Holy Spirit would come. But do you know that they were all up there for one very important reason, Mr. Wallace? Yeah. They were there celebrating the Passover. Do you remember what the Passover is? Yeah, the Passover happened a very long time ago, back in Egypt, when the Israelites were captured. They were told to take the blood of a lamb and put it on the top of a doorpost. And on top of that doorpost, the angel of death would walk by. And if any house did not have the blood... And then that firstborn child was be dead. Yeah, and Moses told the children of Israel that they would celebrate the Passover every year to remember what God had done. And so here Jesus is with his disciples in the upper room getting ready to celebrate the Passover. And something very interesting took place. Let me read Luke chapter 22, verse 7. It says, Then the day of unleavened bread came when the Passover lamb must be killed. Now, Mr. Wallace, in Egypt, there was a a very special lamb that was killed. This week, Jesus is that lamb, and he's getting ready to give his life for you and for me. What do you think Jesus must have been feeling and going through when he knew his time was coming? Well, we know for sure that he was very nervous and he was very almost afraid of what was going to happen. But he put his faith and his trust in his heavenly Father, and he allowed his strength to be made perfect in his humanity. Yeah, and we see later on where Jesus says, not my will, but yours. And so he submitted to the will of his Father. And so while he was in the upper room, something very special took place, something we call communion nowadays, right? Yeah. And so in Luke chapter 22, verse 19, he says, he took the bread, gave thanks and broke it and gave it to them saying, this is my body, which was given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in verse 20, it says, likewise, he also took the cup after supper saying, this is, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. Mr. Wallace, can you kind of explain what this means? Yes, Jesus says that his body is the bread and that we are to partake of it. And his blood is the wine and that we are to drink it and share in his suffering. And every time that we do this, we remember what he did for us on the cross, huh, Mr. Wallace? Yes, absolutely. I'm so thankful for what Jesus did for me 
and for you, aren't you? Oh, so very much. And boys and girls, are you thankful for all that Jesus did for you on the cross? I know you are too. Well, we'll be back later with some more stuff about Passion Week to share with you. God bless you guys. Thank you, Mr. Wallace. Thank you, Pastor Steve. Wow, now I understand why we sometimes call Jesus the Lamb of God, because he was the sacrifice for our sins. I think communion will mean something more to me from now on. Well, that's all for now. Keep an eye out for our next podcast. But before that, be sure to come to church tomorrow and enjoy some special activities just for you. There will be a petting zoo, a bounce house, food, and more. Plus, some of my friends and I will be there in person for a very special show at 5 o'clock. We'll be outside underneath the tent. I hope to see you there. Bye, friends!